Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear friends, in the last video, we have prepared our solar structure layout plan and elevation. Now we are proceeding to start modeling that structure in the software. Before getting started, if you are new to our channel, then please hit like and subscribe button and share as well with your friends. And let's learn structural engineering together. One more thing, we have already started design courses related to reinforced concrete structures and steel structures along with the steel connection design. If you did not watch those videos, then please go and watch those. Links of these videos I am sharing in the description below. So let's get started. Okay, so let's just uh, start modeling our structure in the software. We are using Midas Gen for this structure modeling in analysis and design okay uh, we will model this frame as a whole first this column is having the height of 3333 millimeters while this one has having 4000 millimeters height and they are 1429 millimeters apart okay so go to the nodes and element tab create the nodes with the origin okay let's see in the plan this direction is in the x in this direction is in the y okay so 1429 is in the y direction so let's uh, just uh, translate this node select translate this node in the y direction as 1429 millimeters and uh, this distance in the x direction it's four double two four twice in the x Two times four double two four. Okay, now these columns are having the height of three thousand three hundred thirty-three millimeters. So let's just extrude it. Extrude node to line in the z direction. Then these columns extruded to four thousand. right okay start to end start to end start to end in this direction okay so we have joined these two columns with a line now as we know that this is the projected dimension 715 1429 and 715 but we are having the cantilever part from the column as 789 which is in the sloped direction so we have an option to convert a global coordinate system let's say it is uh, we can see that it is written here G it means that we are currently in the uh, global coordinate system so we can change this global coordinate system to the user coordinate system by going to the structure tab UCS three points and let's first click the origin in the X and in the Y so see this is now written U and this is in the sloped direction Y is in the sloped direction now this particular distance is 789 okay so let's just select this point extrude unequal in the y now this y is actually in the user coordinate system y because we are currently here in the UCS so what is the distance it's 789 so it's in minus 789 and these three points plus 789 right now this main beam cantilever is having 1056 mm yes it's 1056 from here and there as well So let's just join first
select these two points extrude in the x direction 1056 mm so now this is our structure and here we did not want any beam at this level because in the plan we are not having this beam actually but this purlin goes at a distance uh, 800 mm okay so let's just select it make a translate in the x direction minus 800 no intersecting element just check these two so that this beam will break at the intersection of the copied purlin we can also use the move command to do so so it's up to you okay now this translate to 1600 in the x direction all right now this particular distance we have translated the purlins now from this to this it's 512 and then again 1600 then 512 again 1600 and so and so forth so these two we have modeled okay so we are requiring this much distance 2112 and how much times one two three and four times let's just select it translate two one one two four times all right now delete at the location of the columns so this is our structure so just selecting the lower nodes go to the boundary tab define supports d all r all okay fix support are assigned to the structure now coming towards the material properties first defining the material as ASTM let's say E36 in the section properties let's assign a section of a tube let's say of uh, 4 inch tube 4 inch by 4 inch or 4.8 mm means 114.3 by 4.8 square tube remember to uncheck the consider shear deformation otherwise the shear deformations are being incorporated in the analysis but we are proceeding with the linear static analysis so just uncheck it and okay now it assign all the null line elements to this first section okay don't worry we will change it later the second one is for the main beam so i beam let's say i beam is of uh, 8 inches means 200 by 15 and this berlin c c channel 75 by 5.2 so let's first just uh, grouping these are the columns so just go to the group structure group new columns control f2 to inactive the element now selecting these two points in the this elevation is actually the main beams beams drag and drop 
Now remaining the column Berlin's. Control A to active all. Okay, so go to the work step. Now columns are the tubes. It's defined already because it's highlighting as a black color. But in the one which is in the blue color means these two sections are not assigned to any of the beam element. So let's select beam. We want W section for the beam. Let's select purlins. We want C section to the purlins. Just drag and drop to assign them. Let's go to the hidden button Control H to show the real one. Okay. Now this beam are placed are to be placed such that in the orientation of the purlins means the purlins are having the orientation of 25 degrees you can see that this line is oriented at the 25 degrees how to check just go press f4 query dialog nodes and elements or you can go to the query tab query nodes and query elements so just press f4 query elements and just click any of the element now we can see that all the information related about the elements are being displayed in the message window type is b material id is this property is this beta angle is this element length is this angle to the global plane because we have set this angle as 25 degrees with respect to xy plane so this angle with respect to xz plane this angle and with respect to yz plane this angle so we are interested in this angle so it's 25 degrees almost okay so we want the beams to have this orientation see the difference let's select the beams go to the nodes and element tab change the parameters and go to the element local axis give the beta angle and 25 degrees apply see how the beam orientation changes but I think that all the beams are not selected first so let's control Z just unhide show the element numbers to check if there is any duplication so go to the structure tab check duplicate elements so zero elements have been deleted if there is any duplicate elements so the software by going this option the software will automatically delete the duplicate elements but zero elements deleted means there were no any duplication of the elements so let's okay selecting the all beams and then just apply it okay 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 first we have to see the <coughs> direction local direction of the elements means the starting and the ending point so go to the display button go to the elements tab local direction these sorry go to the local direction these arrow denotes the starting and the ending point for this element starting point is this and ending point is this now for the beams all the beam elements are starting from the left to the right but these two are opposite so let's uh, just reverse this by going to the nodes and element tab change parameters element reverse element local frame element apply all right so now all the things are okay now select element local axis and give them apply now it is okay just again go to the display and check the local direction okay now you can see that the orientation is 
perfectly align with the purlin. So that's end the basic modeling of the structure. In the next video, we will see how to calculate the dead and the wind loads and how to apply them in our structure. So this is up for today. See you in the next video.